All right, so right now what we're going to do is we are going to fix this hole that we have in our model. This um, curtain glass, curtain wall is stopping at level three and we want it to go up to the roof. Um, what's happening is in the model, if I hide in view element so we can see inside the model, this floor, the third floor, doesn't go all the way to this front wall, so we need to put this up to that roof, and then we're going to divide, put another curtain wall mullion in there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the curtain wall system. So I want to get near the edge where it gets the entire system, not like a piece of it, like a mullion or something like that. Make sure it says curtain wall and select it. And I'm going to come up here to the attach top base. I'm going to select that and I'm going to pick the roof. And it's going to shoot that guy up to the roof and it's going to give me an error message. Basically what it's going to do, it's going to delete that mullion and recreate it up here. So actually it's fine. It's going to, there are two mullions here. So just say delete elements. And now it's pushed. If we look, it's pushed that curtain wall all the way up to the front. And then I'm going to do the same thing with these little six inch pieces of wall that are on the side of it. So I'm just going to, looks like I'm going to have to tab in to get that one and hold down the control key to add them. And then, oh, I lost the, let's do them one at a time. So if I pick that wall, I can go attach top base and pick that. And then I'll just come over here, tab through and pick that wall, go to attach top base, and pick that. So now that whole thing is sealed off once I turn the wall back on. And now what I want to do is add a mullion at the floor level. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a section view. So I've created a section view right here. And if I pick it, you'll see that the view range is very short. And this is what I would recommend you do if you need to look at things in elevation. Elevations are usually infinite, so you might see a whole bunch of things in the background. But truncating your view using a section is, is pretty useful. And so I'm going to double click on the um, section head of this and it's going to take me into that view. And if I back off, you can see there's that big tall window, right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a mullion right here at level three, right? So to do that, what I need to do is go to my curtain grid. And I need to hover over the edge. If you hover over the edge, of the curtain wall system, it'll want to create a mullion because that's how it discovers it. If you're in the middle, it may not see it. So make sure you're kind of at the edge and then left click. And it will put a mullion in there. I'm going to select modify to stop the curtain grid command. Now our only other issue is we don't really need a door up here, right? We just want another window probably. So I'm going to pick that door that we placed earlier. I'm going to go to the type selector over here. And if you scroll down, you'll see a system panel glazed. I know you can't see it on my screen because my screen is so tiny and it's flipping the thing the other way, but scroll down and you'll see system panel glazed. And if you pick that, it will replace that door with the system panel, right? And so now if I go to my 3D view, you'll see that I have the door and the window, you know, and it's sealed off that space. So if I go to my composition sheet, right, you'll see in the section, there's that window and the door below it with the mullion. Okay. All right. I think for right now, we're okay. Um, and then the next time what we're going to do is we're going to go in and sort of modify some of these like the walls and the roofs to make it look more um, like the actual uh, Aura house. Okay. And I guess I added this section in here um, afterwards, so I need to hide it. So I'm going to double click inside here, select that, and go to hide in view element. And then I can double click outside of it to deactivate that view.
Okay. That's it for now. We'll be back later.